This condenser mic costs 13 pence English pound or 16 cents American dollars from Amazon, brand new, same day delivered if you've got Amazon Prime, of course. But no, it's not exclusive for me. Anyone can buy it from the site with a voucher code, which is on the site itself. It gives you 99% off. It's got a 3.5 millimeter jack input. It's advertised as plug and play, requires no drivers to work and also supposed to be working with the PC as well as with other audio recorders and stuff. And it comes with a foam cover. How wicked. But wait, should you buy it? Or don't you want to find out what it sounds like first? Or for 13 pence or 16 cents, should you care? Let's take it out. <laughs> Hey Tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hinimai Tech and on this channel we do reviews, repairs and tutorials of tech so if you want to unleash your true potential, start by subscribing, enable the bell notification icon so I can help you go from newbie to techie. Right now I'm speaking into the Lavalier microphone JK Mic J044 plugged into the Zoom Hedge One waveformat at the 60 gain input and 48 kHz and 24 bit, which was also the audio for the intro. But when we switch to this one, I'm gonna let you know. And of course, I'm gonna reveal where and how to get this, but not now. I'm not stupid, that's for later, you know. Wait, be patient, it's coming. So no fancy packaging, it came in this cardboard box and this weighs about 141 gram advertised and the audio cable is about I think 1.8 to 2 meters long, close enough and the whole thing is made of plastic, it's really light, the stand and that thing which is called a condenser microphone apparently and a foam, <laughs> this, I think the foam in of itself is probably worth 13 pence or more than that or even the stand or the audio cable I could always use this on my tech channel you know what I'm saying so until the reveal I'm gonna give it a cool temporary brand name what about MK13 sounds awesome all right little MK13 let's test you out I can't believe it we just plugged it into the front port the microphone input of the computer and look at that it's picking up oh my god let's do a little test Oh my god, it's picking up. Top top. Unfreaking believable. Unfreaking believable. 13 pence. MK13. Go MK13. So this is the Logitech C920 HD Pro 10T and this is the audio coming from the onboard uh, webcam microphone. For comparison, this is now the MK13 and we're speaking to the MK13 connected to the webcam HD Pro C920. What's the difference like? And the cord, the microphone input cord is plugged into the front port of our computer without computer running just kind of a normal uh, noise level really and this at uh, this distance what about if i put it on our table down here you can see it's going to be here right for us let's point it towards us like this maybe come on you little one here we go so now you know where it's pointing what's the sound like is it any good is it picking up the fan spinning i don't know you tell me 13 pence, would you buy this for 13 pence? Now we're about, you know, this much length, this much distance, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Would you buy this 13 pence? I don't know, link below. Right now you're listening to the Zoom Hedge One at uh, 48 megahertz and 24 bit recording. And I think the input is about 60, if I'm not mistaken. Let's plug in this one. Now you're listening to the microphone, the Lavalier mic, the JK Mic J044 at the same setting. And now we're gonna plug in our MK13 and I'm hoping it's picking up. It's about the same distance that you can see. All I've got on right now is this computer, this new build which is on and uh, there's just only kind of one fan for the CPU running and uh, the back fan also. If you hear any sound in the background, I've got some engines running on the streets. I can't control that but I'm not sure whether it's still on or not right now. So we'll see what this sounds like. What about if I plug this into the DSLR? This is the Canon EOS 650D. The audio recording is on manual. It's about halfway and uh, we are two fist length. Yeah, can you hear me? But if I put the little foam shield that came with it. Now, is that any better? I don't know. Can you hear me? We'll test it. I'm not sure. Now, do you want to know the name of this microphone? Yes or no? Subscribe and also we're switching to the USB microphone, the Fifin K669B review on the channel and no this is not a sponsored video but the microphone is da 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 another 15 sf666 
on Amazon right now and currently let me just refresh this how many have we got in stock there are still seven left in stock we are now the 24th of august 2019 at 7 13 british time so this is advertised as computer microphone 3.5 millimeter 15 plug and play pc microphone with tripod stand for podcasting online chatting sf666 okay yes people that's the one the sf666 i don't know if you can see this clearly i'll show you later but you probably have the picture on the, somewhere and uh, it's 12.99 on here and uh, the promotion is here there you go if you buy one you can uh, input this voucher code which is uv8e9ybs at checkout it will give you 99% off ergo 13 pence and yeah i had same day delivery from prime so i got it the same day and uh, some of the pictures there you go that's exactly what you get it's fascinating however is it worth 12.99 no i'm going to talk more about this later on there are some other people that are selling this for cheaper like this guy is selling it for 4.99 and uh, there you go microphone sf666 from fifin 4.99 would you buy this at 4.99 would i buy this at 4.99 let's find out there you go this is what it says plug and play pc microphone no drivers required no extra gear needed easy to use 3.5 millimeter skype chatting facetime microsoft cortana lol and youtube computer microphone dang i didn't think this would even work with a normal audio recorder or a camera but it does you know what i'm saying there are no reviews for this obviously uh, i probably will put a review i'm not sure what i should give it what do you guys think i should give this microphone so far now i'm going to plug this into the zoom h1 and finish the video okay let's finish off this video by plugging the little mk13 into the zoom h1 at 48 kilohertz and 24 bit on wave format gain input 60 so same setting really and truly let me give you about 10 seconds of flow noise Okay, I'm in my normal filming area. We've got one computer at the bottom of my desk and then the windows are open. There are some slight wind outside. I don't know how much hiss or background noise is picking up, but this is as good as, as it gets. I'm not even sure where the front of the microphone is. Is it on this side or this side? I don't even know if I'm causing vibrations and you know noise and shock uh, absorption into this microphone right now. I've got no idea, but let's, let's see. So this bit is not gonna be edited with any post effects in Audacity. But from this point onwards, there are going to be some post effects added in Audacity to see what's the best we can get this microphone up to. Now, big question, should you buy this for $12.99? No. Should you buy this for 13 pence? Absolutely yes. And should you buy this for about five pounds or four ninety nine? And this is where it gets very difficult. Now I would say for about five pounds, maybe not, especially if you don't have a field recorder to put it in with, because if it's anything but a testimony to the fact that a dedicated audio field recorder. Any microphone you plug into there will get rid of a lot of hiss and background noise and will elevate your audio level, no doubt. That would mean even if you bought yourself like a one pound microphone, like a one pound lavalier mic from China, even if you have to wait for a few weeks for it to come, that probably will give you better audio quality if you plug it into a Zoom H1 or a similar thing, which kind of, I think I should do a video on this. If you want me to do a video on a one pound or one dollar lav mic, let me know in the comments below and I will gladly do it. We may have to wait a few weeks for, you know, delivery and stuff. So that's where I would stand. And I would say if you were going to spend £12 or so on a microphone for that price, either you get the £10 lavalier mic that I did the video on there and it's quite versatile. It is probably better quality. Or you could add a bit more money and get the Boya BY M1, which is another very popular budget microphone for lav mic. And I have two of them. One is unboxed and I've never done a review. I think I should do this before because I'm 
I'm trying to sell it off to someone, so I'll do that. But there are plenty of reviews online if you want to watch it, and we've used it on the channel even on today's video, but I haven't done the review. Where do we go from here? Um, no, don't buy it for five pounds. I don't think it's worth it personally, unless you've got no other choice and you only got five pounds to spend. But if you're going to plug it into your computer, there will be lots of interference and noise, which may not be great. Okay guys, so I think we've come to the end of today's video, so hopefully you've enjoyed it and if it's there, go and buy it. Don't forget to use my Amazon affiliate link and if you want me to do more microphone reviews, which reminds me I've got a microphone review for a much better quality, a USB one, and I need to do this probably in the next coming couple of videos, I'll do that. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget we've also got like a troubleshoot series, which is going to be down there somewhere. We've also got this video for you and don't forget my one piece rule them all challenge series and I will see you in the next one. So it's Ash from my helping you go from newbie to take it until next time peace out